Um, so, today, I have decided to start a, a fresh new run in honor of Dragon Age Day. Um, a fresh new run, canon run, of Dragon Inquisition. Now, to start us off, I thought I would explain a bit the world state we're going into, um, which you can customize uh, with DragonAgeKeep.com. So, uh, for me, my hero of Ferelden was a circle elven mage named Atisha Asha, uh, which is Dalish for powerful woman, little woman, something like that. Um, she, uh, in the prologue, uh, she cured and recruited the Mabari. She eventually gained the power of blood. Uh, she became involved with, and in my mind, married Alistair. Um, however, she did pass away, uh, slaying the Archdemon. In Nature of the Beast, she brokered peace, a uh, paragon of her kind. Um, the end result was that Balin now rules Orzammar. Uh, the Urn of Sacred Ashes was not poisoned. Uh, the, for the Earl of Re uh, Redcliffe, we helped uh, Redcliffe prepare and fight. Uh, Connor is alive and not possessed. Um, so managed to do that very tricky, um, a very tricky ritual, uh, to expel the demon from, uh, from Connor. Uh, in Denerim, uh, we helped F Alistair find Goldana, um, and we brought the scroll from the sacred, uh, the, from Haven to Sister Justine. In Broken Circle, we supported the mages. The first mage, Irving, survived. Uh, and we refused Cullen's request to kill the, um, to kill all the mages, basically, I think it was. Uh, at Landsmeet, uh, Loghain was executed by, um, by, uh, the hero Ferelden, uh, and Honora ended up ruling alone. Um, now for, uh, the hero Ferelden's companions, uh, Alistair post, uh, Battle of Denerim, is a widower uh, and stays uh, with the wardens. The dog uh, was recruited. He survived Denerim. Uh, Sten, we per uh, persuaded Reverend, uh, the Reverend Mother uh, to free Sten. We recruited him, uh, gave him his sword back, and he survives Denerim as well. Ogren was recruited and he survives Denerim. Zevran was recruited. He survives Denerim and leaves the crows. Uh, when was recruited, she also survives Denerim. Leliana was recruited and also again survives Denerim. Uh, Morgan was recruited, uh, befriended by the hero Ferelden. She gives uh, her grimoire over her mother's grimoire over peacefully. Uh, the hero uh, Tisha Asha refused um, Morgan the dark right, um, by which she would be sleeping with Alistair and all that. Uh, Tisha Asha did not want to put the, uh, that burden on Alistair's shoulders um so she said no to morgan uh, knowing full well that um she uh, she would uh, give the killing blow um and morgan leaves uh, before the battle of denarum even starts uh shale was also part of the team uh, uh shale was freed uh survives denarum alive and well all possible ally nations or groups uh, were recruited um for the end battle at Denerim. Dragon Age 2, my canon uh, Dragon Age 2 hero is Garrett Hawk, so male hawk. Uh, he was a diplomatic mage, uh, joined the smugglers, and eventually, uh, well, is in a relationship with Fenris. Um, so in Act 1, um, let's see. Uh, Bethany uh, was killed in the escape from Denerim. Uh, unfortunately, um, once in Kirkwall, uh, convinced the Templars to leave. Um, did all of these things. Uh, uh, returned Seamus to Viscount. Uh, sent fin uh, Finrael to Dalish. Defeated Cadosian for uh, the Kunari, etc., etc. Act 2, we didn't kill Gascard, uh, saved Merlin, didn't side with Patrice, killed the air shock. That's significant. In Act 3, um, let Zevran go, 
I handed the conspirators over to Arsino. We didn't help Uncle Gamlin, because let's be honest, he's kind of a prick. Um, let Kr uh, Karen go. Um, sided with the mages. Although we know, of course, that either way, both Orsino and, um, what's her face? Crazy ass girl, uh, woman. Um, the Knight Commander both went insane and died or were petrified. Um, for the Legacy DLC, personally, I haven't played it. Um, but this is what would have happened if I had. Uh, so I would have sided with Larius and found Malcolm's will. Uh, for Hawk's Companions... Uh, so, as I mentioned, Bethany was killed in the escape from Ferelden. Carver became a Templar, and during th um, when they went down to the Deep Roads, he um, uh, was tainted uh, by Darkspawn Taint. Um, so, Hawk pushed him to become a Grey Warden instead. Um, he and uh, Hawk becomes friends with uh, very good friends with uh, with Varric. Uh, they kill Bartrand uh, in the end. Um, they help. Uh, he helped Varric discover the source of the haunting, and Varric did not keep the Red Illyrium idol, which was what was causing the haunting. Which is what uh, and before that forced us to kill Bartrand. Fenris. Uh, they became friends. They became d r involved romantically on and off. Um, so. Anyone who's played Dragon Age 2 and has romance Fenris know that, you know, you're a couple years together, a couple years not together, and then a couple years back together, depending on the choices that you make. Um, so that was the case uh, here. Um, so Anders became friends with Anders. Uh, Anders was very much interested in Hawk romantically and kissed him during one of uh, Hawk and Fenris's off period. And Hawk is like, okay, I'm flattered, but I'm still kind of in love with Fenris. I'm sorry. Um, Hawk did not approve of the bombing of the Chantry, but couldn't couldn't face uh, killing him, so he let him go. Uh, Isabella, we became friends with Isabella. She came back to Hawk eventually with the with that treasure. He did not hand her over to the Canari, and this is where oh, um, Hawk had to kill the Arishok. Um, and she's alive and well. Meryl also became friends with Hawk. She did not destroy the Illuvian. Her clan is alive as well, uh, alive and well, so is she. Avalon uh, stayed with Hawk. Hop, uh, Hawk then helped her woo uh, Donic, and they those two eventually got married. Um, again, because I didn't have uh, the DLCs, I didn't have Sebastian or Talus. Um, but uh, this is what would have happened um, had I had the DLC. Uh, so Sebastian, of course, would have been recruited and tells us uh, we would have parted amicably and not kissed. Um, because uh, Garrett Hawk is uh, fully into men. Or at least that's my canon version. So, all right, shall we? Okay, so my canon uh, character for this game is a, a Dalish elf. Chat, Dalish elf. Female da a Dalish elf who is a mage. Um, I like to play nightmare mode on this game chat. I'm pretty good at it. Okay, so, character summary. Enslaved long ago by humans, most elves still live as second-class citizens within human cities. Elves who reject this life are known as the Dalish, nomadic wanderers who strive to keep the ancient elf, elven religion and traditions alive. You grew up in the wilderness, a member of the Lavellan Dalish clan, an apprentice to its leader and guide, the Keeper clan wandered the nord northern free marches and you had a little and you had little need to interact with humans that is until the keeper sent you to the chantry's conclave as a spy what happened there she said would impact not only the dalish but indeed all else she could not have known how right she was 
Now this is the game's background story for this um, character. Mine in my mind is a little bit different, but that's just me. Uh, do you want to import custom world state from dragonagecube.com? Yes. Da -da -da -da. Yes. Confirm. Mm 